Example number one says use trapezoidal rule to estimate this by taking h is equal to 0.2. So we are given the value of h, we are given the function, okay, we are given the limits also. This is lower limit a, upper limit b, okay, everything is given to us. But we are not given the numerical data. So although it looks like it is not given, but it is there, okay. So what we need to do is write down the function, write down the limits and the interval and then make the table first and then you find out the integration, okay. So the solution will follow like, let f of x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x. What are the limits? Here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and h is equal to 0 0.2. Okay, so let us first of all draw the table and then only we can go for the numerical computation of the integral. So, x, 1. Now, as you can see, the lower limit is a is equal to 1. And the final limit is 2. Okay, so we have to go from 1 to 2 by taking a step of 0 0.2, which would be like start with 1, then take a step of 0 0.2, it would be 1.2, then it would be 1.4, then 1.6, then 1.8, and at last 2.0, that is 2. Okay, now these are the values of x that we got with the help of limit and the level of or the interval of difference. Now, you write down the values of this. Then how we can got the values of this? This y is nothing but y is equal to f of x. So, we can put the value of x to be 1. So, it would be 1 upon 1 plus 1, that's 1 by 2. Then you can substitute x is equal to 1.2. So, this is 1 upon 1 plus 1.2, that is 2.2. This is 1 upon 2.4. This is 1 upon 2.6. This is 1 upon 2.8. And this is 1 upon 1 plus 2, that is 3. Now, we got all these values. Next, you have to do the naming. That is, this is y0. This is y1. This is y2. This is y3. This is y4 and this is yn. Here yn is equal to 5. Okay. So let us do the integration of this numerical integration. So you can write by the trapezoidal rule. By the trapezoidal rule. We have. So what we have accordingly we will write. Integration from 1 to 2 dx upon 1 plus x can be written as what is this? h by 2, so value of h is 0 0.2 by 2 into y0 plus y, y n is 5. So if you want, I can write for the time being h by 2, okay, y0 plus y5 plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4. Okay, now just simple calculations. So, what is it? This implies integration from 1 to 2 dx upon 1 plus x is equal to h by 2, value of h is 0 0.2 by 2 into what is the value of y0? That's 1 by 2, value of y5, 1 by 3, plus 2 times the values of this, 1 upon 2.2, plus 1 upon 2.4, 1 upon 2.6, plus 1 upon 2.8, and this complete. Now I want you to pause the video for a few seconds, do all these calculations and come up with your answer, resume the video. So I hope you might have got the answer of this. 
So what answer you are getting? So I am getting the answer to be point four zero five nine. Therefore, the numerical integration of this dx upon one plus x is zero point four zero five nine, and this is nothing but the answer one can get with the help of with the help of this is approximate answer so approximately 0.4059 you can write okay so like this all the problems can be solved on trapezoidal rule so one different variety of problem we can take i just give you the hint and you can try you can try to solve that problem okay so let me write down this so sometimes what happen a problem like this would be given to you okay and you may be wondering like this type of problem we haven't done okay because to solve this uh, to solve this numerical integration i need h and the data once i get the h i will definitely get the tabular data okay that is easy to get that uh, data but as you can see here the value of h is not given so whenever you have a problem like this like evaluate integration of something with six sub intervals by trapezoidal rule then this number you treat it as n n is number of interval okay so what you can do here is you have the limits what is a a is zero what is b b is the upper limit 6 and what is n here n is equal to 6 so we can find out the value of h that is the interval of differencing with the help of this this and this therefore the interval of differencing that is h can be found out by b minus a by n so what is b 6 a is 0 n is 6 So this comes out to be h is equal to one. Okay. So once you get the value of h to be one, then it is very easy to divide this interval into six intervals. So each uh, two successive terms of h would be having a difference of one. Okay. That you can easily get it from here also. So you can draw the table. You can have the values of x. Values of y, so it starts from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and here it is six. Corresponding values you can find out. After finding out these values, you can easily find out the integration of this. So to cross check your answer, try to solve this problem and try to get the answer one point four one zero four. So the approximate answer to this integral is one point four one zero four. So this is what we have in this learning video. If you have any doubts or queries, feel free to write in the comment section. Till then, thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics.